Philip Peake works in the Richland 2 Maintenance Department processing work orders from around the district. That's where a chance meeting with Spring Valley High School Special Services aide and coach Kurt Green changed his life. The two talked about Philip's success with weightlifting. That led to talk about competing. And now Kurt has taken on the role of coaching Philip with their sights set on the 2016 Paralympics in Brazil. Inhale, exhale. In my mind, it's possible. Um, and I'm going to do it. I, I think if anybody sets their mind to anything, they can make it happen. A motorcycle accident in 2005 shattered Philip's hip and pelvis and led to the amputation of his leg. It also shattered his dreams. But now, with the help of Kurt Green, he's back on track. This is a lot of people that have amputa amputations on limbs. Um, they want to quit and give up. Um, so this is my way of showing them that they don't have to. You know, I just took it as another challenge to help an athlete. His, his disability never crossed my mind. I just seen him as an athlete and I'm a coach and let's put it together and make it happen. I think it's awesome. I tell him all the time that, um, you know, I don't understand why. You know, he's not getting anything out of this besides training. Nothing's really in it for me, you know, just an opportunity to help someone else's dream come true. And through that, it makes my dream come true. To get to the Paralympics, hard work and challenges lie ahead. Commitment, dedication, perseverance. You're gonna have to miss your family a little bit, but at the end of the day, when we come home with the goal, hopefully it'll all pay off at the end. They also need monetary support to fund registration fees and travel to national competitions to become part of the Olympic circuit. Philip becomes emotional when he thinks of how far he has come and where he wants to go. He works out two hours a day, five days a week, and is building up to his goal of lifting more than 600 pounds. Kurt is by his side for much of it. We talk every day, most of the time it's about the Olympics, but you know, every now and then we'll sway off to how's your family doing, how's your daughter, how's your wife, and we'll share that information and then we'll jump right back into the Olympics. So um, we're, we're, we're focused. We're pretty focused on what we're doing and it's been fun this far.